What is up dudes, it's Jeremy today, we're back to playing King's Tale uh, Final Fantasy XV15 for all of you who's not familiar with Roman numerals. Uh, last we left off, we took out that mid-boss and did some other cool stuff, um, and we're on to another chapter here, a Wescom, we got Wescom, uh, Wescom that scoundrel, and uh, of course Regis is still dramatic as ever, everything else still carries over, loving this game. Uh, it seems like one that I'm going to be able to knock out in a relatively short amount of time, but it's a lot of fun in the meantime. Side by side. Ooh, we get some green here. Everything else has been so, like, destroyed. The countryside seems to stretch on forever. We've got to find the cause of this madness. Uh, Regis, like I said, dramatic as ever. Even the wildlife seems agitated. I can't get, I gotta get a, I gotta get a hold on my, uh, voices here before I do them. Gorillas. I am not very familiar with the Final Fantasy. Uh, what 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 is the word here? Anthropology? No, I don't think that's it. The Animal Kingdom of the Final Fantasy universe. I really don't. Um, I played some Final Fantasy games and I enjoy them. But they're usually ones that I pick up just to like try them out. I haven't played uh, all the way through very many except seven and eight. And that was a long time ago. Oh, and 10, and I think 10 too, actually. That's actually a decent amount of Final Fantasy games. I know in the last episode we talked a lot about, why would gorillas attack you? It seemed as though they had become enraged, almost possessed. Like they were being controlled? Someone or something foul was definitely pulling their strings. I swear, it's like, I'm not even making this as dramatic. I, I'm probably undermining the dramatic nature of the writing for Regis' character. Well, that's pretty uneventful. So the gorillas come charging at you. Just kind of walk out of the way. Mosey on out of there. Now, killer bees, these things look uh, bad as fuck. So let's see here. Ooh, I like that. I like the slow motion timing. Oh, okay. <laughs> slow motion seeing myself get stung. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. I'm just gonna get my get myself stuck in this little training thing here so I can just do this forever. Perfect. And then we can deflect it at some other enemies, have some real fun. I'm holding out for some more magic. We should be getting some more magic here soon. So we've got the blizzard. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we're gonna have some type of fire or flame. And then our third one will be... Earth? Oh no, electricity. Duh. We'll have some shock. Alright, there's no more killer bees. I'm pretty sure we can put the, the combat tip away. Red killer bees though? That's scaring me. Could you imagine if a red bee came flying at you? I've been stung like maybe twice. I can only remember being stung two times in my life. One of which uh, was pretty awful. My grandparents lived on a farm and I was, uh, had to shovel out there and like, I don't remember exactly, but something like, like cows do something where they like ruined uh, the, the grass uh, in an area and you gotta go out there and like shovel like, you gotta like chop the uh, uh, weed clumps or something like that. I, I <laughs> It sounds weird, it was weird, I really don't remember what I was supposed to be doing. Anyways, all I remember is jamming the shovel into the ground, and evidently I hit a hornet's nest that was underground, and about 40 of them came out, and I probably got stunned about 20 times. That was a pretty awful experience. Um, I had to take Mucho Benadryl, and then the other time wasn't really significant, I just got stung like at the zoo, and my leg swelled up to, uh, like the size of a watermelon 
Uh, and that was about it, really. So I'm not looking forward to getting stung ever again in my life. Hopefully that doesn't happen. They're so disgusting. They just make me want to never eat Jello again. I love Jello. Oh, look in my eyes. I love Jello. It's so good. And it's like a nice light dessert. Jello and you know it's really good. Eat pretty well. Just a little of whipped cream. Just one. Not a whole bunch of is. Um, I'm hoping we get another like a boss boss at the end of this this these great plains, the great plains of uh, what's this place? Insomnia. This one guy is. There we go. Maybe? Okay, oh no. I thought like that was a pretty intense battle. I didn't think we needed more people. Guess they thought we did. Ah, missed it. Oh! I didn't, that wasn't intentional. I wasn't trying to do that, but that looked pretty cool. Just do a complete 180, whip the shield out, back at you. That's what we should have done that time on the farm with the Hornets. Just done a 180. Get back. And I could have done some stellar voice They're really putting up a fight. Indeed, sire. But what is it they're protecting? I sense more trouble up ahead, so we're about to find out. Hands to the sky. We just finished the level. Thanks for watching, dudes. We're going to continue in the next episode. Uh, I don't want to tackle a new area in this same episode. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.